Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm going to be doing a reading for the collective. Welcome collective. Welcome new subscribers and welcome back uh, subscribers. So uh, since this is a reading for the collective, I'm not tuning into one person's energy. I'm tuning into the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Maybe if it's not something that resonates with you, it's some, for someone else. Uh, if you would like a reading where I tune into your specific energies, uh, there's a link in the description box below and you can schedule your own appointment. So, all right, without any further ado, collective in the past, you are in the energy of seek. Hermit. Going within, opening up to your higher self. Going within to find your answers. That's where all your answers are. You have everything you need within you. Surrendering. I love this image of, of a surrender, accepting where you are, stopping resisting where you are, releasing resistance, and just being, being present, allowing something new and wonderful to come in. All right. Wow. Great start, Collective. So in the past, you had this um, self-sufficiency, financial independence. Mm. Okay, and then there's someone in your past who, hmm, Actually, this, it feels like two people, one person is very ruthless, high expectations, like unachievable expectations. Maybe they set really high expectations for themselves, like they feel very insecure about their own ability to be successful and, and then they create that projection outside of them that nobody's enough. Maybe they're projecting outside because they never feel like they're enough. So they project onto others that others aren't enough. And it's really coming from a, a space within where they're, um, Uh, not enough, a real insecurity. And then someone else who's moody and jealous. Let's get more on these. It looks like, hmm. Oh, more people showing up, more energies. Boy, okay, lots of people showing up into this space. Okay. All right. It's a couple. It's a, a couple in your past. They're a good match. The king and queen of wands. Pardon me. The sunshine is beautiful today, but it's not helping with the big deals. The king and queen of wands in reverse. So 
it feels like a, a power couple, but they're um, they're in reverse. They're they're not their best selves, to say the least. They're unempowered. Not a power couple, but an unempowered. Feels a bit desperate. The female energy, whoever runs more feminine energy in the couple, because there's no gender in tarot. Uh, it feels like the feminine energy is, is selfish, jealous, insecure. I also get that that's a match for the, the masculine energy. They're very insecure. I feel like the, the feminine energy is, is jealous of you, collective. Their energy is, is looking at you and very jealous that you have this ability to go within, to connect, that you are self-sufficient, that you are creating abundance and financial independence. The masculine energy is checked out. I, I get this like refusal to look at you, like um, why, why is the king of wands in reverse not looking at collective? Oh, okay, so um, this feels like an X, your X collective. There's, there was a breakup. They're refusing to talk or someone here, there's like broken communication. It doesn't feel like in the past you, when I'm reading this energy that you were talking to them, it feels like communication was a big issue. There was so much disharmony and distrust. It looks like this couple, um, they're just, they're acting on a lot of trauma, unhealed trauma. I, I don't think that if you um, talk to this couple and point it out, I, I feel like they're, they're, unaware of um, the pain that they cause, the trauma that they cause, that, you know, hurt people, hurt people. And I feel like these unresolved traumas um, are just, uh, the word that's coming up is clueless. They have no, I feel like they're proud of what they did. They, they feel um, proud of how they behave, that they, they, what is it called? That they have good reason to behave the way they do. They can justify, thank you, justify what they do, did, how they behave. There's an unwillingness to, to look at their own actions, except in a very narrow way of perceiving things. This card wanted to come out, the, the six of pentacles. I get the feeling that, oh, okay, yes. So your ex, um, was 
giving this might have been a third party situation when like you were with this person and you gave to them and they gave to this third party i feel again that like justified like it's it's valid it's valid that you were um punished that you were neglected that you were breadcrumbed they they felt burnt out from the connection your ex between you and your ex they felt that they were doing it all that they were carrying the burden of the relationship wow okay but your your ex is showing up as just there's no emotion here there's no love there's no emotion maybe at some point there was love in this connection but when i'm tuning into this in the past it was um your ex was just very callous it was more about control controlling you controlling the con connection manipulation they misused their power i feel like like what was going on made you turn within that this connection uh with your ex was confusing and so you went within to find your own answers because you couldn't find your answers with your ex and right now your wheel well in the past your wheel of fortune went up I feel like this is very confusing. I feel like they they um, they tried to and hit sabotage. They tried to sabotage your well being. I feel like how I am presenting this. they would totally disagree. They would justify being cruel to someone, being cruel to you. Feel like um, you just, you got tired of this. Um, painful situation and you just you're avoiding conflict at all costs just okay because there's it it doesn't feel like you can reach this person they're in a whole other storyline a storyline where they're victim to you I, I don't feel any animosity. Like you weren't being mean, you weren't being cruel, you were just living, but, but um, hmm. I think everybody in this connection in the past, uh, well, no, not everyone. You and your ex, there was this fear of change, like staying in a relationship that was just everybody's suffering. It 
feels like the, the feminine energy, the, the queen of wands and reverse energy uh, really helped um, the catalyst for the breakup. feel like your vibration was rising because you were seeking connection with source, with your higher self, going within, um, finding an independence. When things went well for you, it was very upsetting for your ex and, and for this couple together that that's feels like they're like that's unfair your ex was controlling and so you finding your answers within and seeking independence threatened their control you became harder to manipulate by achieving more independence and going within to find your answers collective in the past, it feels like you set some boundaries and I feel like whenever you, you checked this person, maybe one of the first times started checking this person and, and setting some boundaries saying no, that this person got very punishing and feels very um, just okay with how punishing, how cruel they knew you the best because, you know, couples tend to be the closest. They know each other's secrets and their soft spots. And it feels like this person took advantage of knowing your tender spots and used that to punish you for wanting independence from them, wanting um, a different arrangement, wanting to heal yourself and, and wanted better for yourself. Oof. Again, it, this, this connection exhausted you collective, your burnout. There was so much stagnation, nothing would change because it, it feels like you wanted a different type of relationship. You were questioning the structure of your relationship saying I don't I don't want to do this any longer I'm not happy you're not happy can we can we change the um, agreements can we consciously change the agreements in our relationship and something that's better suited It created an exhaustion in you and also a restlessness. It feels like um, it just depleted you spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, just depleted. So, whew. all right. So collective in present time, you are in the energy of refusing to see two of swords. Are you in your head? What are you refusing to see? What's the collective refusing to see? <clears throat> Hmm. 
Mm, okay. In present time collective, you're finding balance, harmony, patience. You're being very sensible. You're tuning into your emotions. You're feeling your emotions. You're allowing yourself to feel your emotions. And you're moving on, you're progressing, you're moving forward. You've got so much courage in your present time energy. Wow. <laughs> I think what you're refusing to see is um, how far you've come since this past relationship. I think you might be being really hard on yourself. Maybe you're judging yourself that you were in this past relationship. Maybe you still believe some of the things that your ex said to you or did. You know, having someone who you love or loved treating you so cruelly might have affected your self-esteem and self-worth. And you're having to process those uh, complicated emotions. And as you continue healing and going within and going within and finding your answers and raising your vibration, as you release those really difficult emotions, just feeling them, letting them flow through so they're not stuck within. When you resist feeling something, resistance is like glue. So, allowing yourself to feel painful emotions. Without kicking the energy and adding to it with a storyline, just dropping the storyline and being like, oh, I can, I can tune into the grief. I feel the grief in my heart space and in my sacral. I feel unempowered in my solar plexus. It feels like a gut punch. I feel the fear kind of in my spinal column. Like you could do that. Like what are the textures that you're feeling when you tune in like that and, and feel the emotions and acknowledge them, then they can be released. Because in present time collective, you've really leveled up. You're, I feel like um, you've got this balance, this harmony. You're moving forward. You're progressing. You've got so much courage. You're even getting public recognition. Public recognition. Your confidence has lifted. You're, you're having a victory. Wow, beautiful. Mm. Interesting. All right, clarified. Two of swords clarified with two swords in reverse. Right now, you might be having some confusion, some indecision. And that's okay. It's okay to not know 
like giving yourself permission to, to not know because you've got this, you're very clear minded. You've got very direct communication and clear boundaries. It looks like this um, relationship in the past, your ex and whatever you went through has helped you find your truth that you're no longer emotionally manipulative. You're not as easily manipulated as you used to be. It feels like your ex really exploited your emotions as a way to control you, as a way to trigger you and get you in your head. You're not gonna let anybody do that. You're you might have been naive in the past. Maybe placing your trust outside of yourself, placing your trust in someone else instead of trusting your intuition, your feelings. It's created a lot of self-doubt that you've had to heal from. It's kind of like you were mirroring the your partner in the past, your ex, when you're still in relationship. There was just the relationship was maybe an unconscious agreement that we both lack self-awareness. And we both are self-loathing. There was a punishment element in this past relationship. Very punishing. You made a, you might have um, played a part in that as well. I feel a resentment from your energy collective, very resentful towards your ex, towards the situation. You might have stayed in that relationship because there was a fear of change and a fear of loss. Yes, it was punishing, it was chaotic, but it there's a fear of the unknown. Could you make it by yourself? But right now you're healing, you're healing from this third party situation that you were put in. You're releasing the pain. You're recovering, you're forgiving yourself. You're moving on. What I like, I have to say, as a reader, in the past energy, it's a lot about your ex and this connection. In present time, you are working with through, you're working through like the trauma and the heavy emotions from that connection, but nowhere is your ex's energy showing up in present time. It's your energy. You're more senior in your space. You're more sovereign, more senior taking agency over 
your mind, body, spirit. Your higher self is in the energy of love abounds. Ace of cups. Your higher self is saying there's a, a love offering. You have love. Hmm. To go out, have fun, celebrate with your friends. community, happiness. Maybe you're going out tonight, hanging out with friends, having some fun shine in the sunshine. It feels like your higher self is saying, have fun. There's, yes, there's still and there's still emotions, there's still trauma to be healed. But if you spend so much time in that healing mode, uh, it just, you kind of get weighted. Remember to find that balance. You have access to balance right now. Harmony, patience, that it isn't about healing everything so you're perfect. It's healing enough, clearing clearing enough of this dense energy, feeling those emotions and releasing them from your body, clearing your space so new love can come in, allowing yourself to just be light, have some fun with your friends, be light by being light and, and having fun then you can bring in new love, whether this is a new partnership or you can bring in love for yourself. You can bring in loving relationships. So it doesn't have to be that you're looking for someone new. I'm getting that you're worthy, you're valuable. You deserve love. You are love. You are love. You are loved. There's a, it feels like you, you might associate like a negative association of love with this past relationship. And that's not love. I don't, there were no cups. There was one ups, one cup in reverse, but it's a lot of just pain and suffering. That's, that's not the feeling of love. Maybe at the beginning of the relationship, you felt love or loved. You can have that again, or you can have something create a, a, a new type of relationship. As you heal, really heal from this and clear away that dense energy, then you have space for love to come in whether loving yourself has got to come first. Mm. It's okay if you're exhausted. Your confidence was definitely destroyed at some point. You were overwhelmed. You might be overly protective right now, just very defensive. Hmm. 
To let go of this couple in your past, your ex and who they're with now. There's a lot of misalignment and disharmony. No matter what it appears on the outside. Oh, okay. No matter how it appears on the outside, like that they moved on and they have someone else, they have recreated the same type of toxic relationship in their new relationship. It's misaligned. Can, can you really trust someone who would be so cruel to their partner? Can you trust someone who is willing to cheat on their partner? It, it's a very uh, soft foundation to, to, to build on. If, if they were willing to behave in this way, to you, to their partner, when things got difficult, what makes them think that they won't do this to you? There was so much, so many secrets and deception and punishment and manipulation and misuse of power. And insecurity, both of them wildly insecure and jealous. How, how can you trust that they won't do this, turn around and do this to you when they get tired of this connection or when they perceive that you deserve to be punished? It's, it's not what it appears. Things aren't as harmonious. Your challenge right now, Collective, is success and growth. Hmm. Yes, your challenge right now is to Allow yourself to receive the success and growth, to be gentle with yourself. To create something new, to move forward, to look, look ahead. Yes, processing emotions as they come up and not ignoring, you know, healing and can, and continue moving forward. Mm. I feel like your challenge is also, there's something about your ex that um, they come in very immaturely. If you're still having to deal with them, If you're still having for some reason to connect, to see them, to communicate with them, they're, they're very immature in their energy right now. They're still deceptive. They're still manipulative. 
if anything, it feels like their energy, <coughs> excuse me, their energy, they're, they're not as um, puffed up. They're not as high and mighty now. They're, I feel like they're, wherever they were in the past, that was a real regressed kind of state of being. Maybe they were acting out of some, it feels like teenage, maybe early 20s type of energy. Not to poo-poo younger folks, but a lot of people tend to learn certain lessons as a group around specific ages. Of course, there are outliers. But they, they've gone from that young adult type of mentality. I feel like they're even more immature now. Like they're working off of childish pictures. I, I mean, even kind of toddler pictures like mine. I want what I want. Like they, they, they keep regressing they're resistant to change. They, they're holding on. They're holding on to your energy. They, they want to keep the stagnation, the decay. I don't, I don't feel like they, they're not just resistant to change. They, I don't, I feel like they don't even see why would I change? Why would I have to change? They, they're definitely in a very, um, hmm. you know how lovely it is when you talk with other people, not to find your answers, but to see how they're seeing things, see their perspective. So you get a different point of view because everybody's unique and has their own specific point of view. It feels like the people that I'm talking about in your past, your ex, um, and maybe even the person that they're with, there's a, their view, period. You either see things the way they see it, or you're out, you're an enemy. And so when you refuse to see any uh, other perspectives, there's a lack of growth. It feels very ego-based, like they're, it's really tough to, to be checked. Your challenge right now, collective, is negative thoughts. Not allowing, you know, what happened in the past to, not allowing how others treat you to color how you see yourself. It's what they did and what your ex did is on them. It's not a reflection of who you are. It is a reflection of who they are. Being cheated on is so painful. But it's a reflection of who they are, that, that they're willing to not honor agreements, that they're not in fidelity, that they are just trying to escape, it's, it's not about you. 
it's it's their behavior. But your challenge is to see that things are moving a lot faster for your benefit right now. I feel the success in your energy, this ambition, kind of like a, it feels like in this relationship in the past that it was like a rubber band and you just kept holding back who you were, holding back, being held back, being just held back. And now you finally re just releasing. It's not that you have to work really hard. You just release that. And it feels like the energy right now is just flying forward, just releasing. Releasing and allowing, allowing these victories that are on your doorstep. You've got a lot of non-physical energy coming into this reading, just celebrating you, loving you, celebrating you, excited, excited for what's around the corner that you don't see, excited about the potential, excited about how your life will be so very, very different and in the best way possible. So, all right, collective, this is your reading. Thank you so much for joining. Take care.